hello everyone welcome to our youtube channel uh, in our video today i will be showing you how to plate boho braids so i will be using the normal braids from the angels company and i will also be using the spanish yeah the spanish braid so i started uh, by plating the normal braids and i was using a double fixing method because uh, my client wanted the braids very neat and also she wanted them to last for a while yeah so guys i as you can see i have already plated the whole head and i have two strands remaining so i started off by plating a, a very small braid as you can see here i have a small uh, amount of braid and then i parted it like that and then i plated a small or a thin braid that was and i ensured that it was not tight at the bottom yeah and uh, with um, double fixing you just uh, plate the inner braid you just plate for a short while and then you come in with a with a thicker uh, braid so after plating the inner braid and then uh, you need also to ensure that uh, the braid that you use for the smaller braid is um, is will be an will be of a size that will be equal to the other two strands that you're adding so that uh, the braid will come out looking neat yeah so after adding the after coming in with a thicker uh, piece of braid I just I plated for some few steps and then I started adding my my Spanish braid as you can see yeah and after after adding I plate I plated for a short while and then I would leave all or I would drop the strand yeah so that now we will have the look that my client wanted and that is what we call now the boho braids yeah because now as you can see it's a combination of uh, the braid the normal braids with the Spanish yeah so that's how we do it yeah and uh, for each braid I was adding around three strands of the Spanish and I managed to use two packets of um, Spanish braid and it was the long one the long Spanish braid and also I used five uh, packets of uh, the normal braid that is uh, Jibambe braid which uh, belongs to the angels company yeah so after adding my Spanish braids I then plated the remaining part of the braid all the way to the end and then i would tie as a, a knot at the at the end to ensure that the braids do not run so once i was done uh, i then went ahead and uh, plated the other one as you will see in the video yeah and uh, guys as you can see the end result was just awesome yeah so let's go ahead and plate our other braid the procedure was just the same as the as the first one yes guys uh, and uh, this is a very nice hairstyle and it was i had a lot of fun plating it and i hope that if you have been um, trying to learn how to plate this hairstyle this will be the best video where you will learn how to do it and i hope that you will enjoy watching this video yeah so guys this is me plating my second braid uh, and we all know that everyone has their own way of uh, fixing these braids uh, sometimes have different methods but I normally prefer uh, plating my braids this way and my clients always love them and they always come back for more yeah so while plating your braids
threads you need to ensure that they are very neat and also you need to ensure that you don't uh, cause your client pain uh, by making them too tight and then you need to ensure that you're not too slow yeah you need to not be too slow because the client might end up getting bored and tired yeah and then while adding these strands of spanish you need to be consistent and you need to ensure that you need to be consistent in the size that you're adding ensure that there is uniformity so as to ensure neatness and also to ensure that the braids or the packet that you have are going to be enough if you don't uh, have a balance of if you don't have a balance of the strands that you're adding then you're likely to uh, to use more than the packets that you needed to use we yeah, are which might also make the hair too bulky yeah so it's always good to ensure that you uh, you separate or you yeah you sep you like it's always good to ensure that you part the braids earlier and you put them in a place where you will be able to pick uh, just the norm the the normal size yeah so guys as you can see we have come to the end of our other strand and right here you can see that i'm trying to tie the knot and um, i used a very thin strand of braid yeah because you need to tie in a manner that people won't see the knot yeah and this ensures neatness so that is our last strand and as you can see it looks very beautiful yeah I really loved the end result yeah they looked really nice then after I was done painting these two I went ahead now and finished uh, finished up all the braids that I had not completed adding the Spanish and then this was our final result guys yeah I'm sorry the video is not very clear it was already late by the time I finished but I really loved the end result as you can see this is how the braids looked yeah and my client was very very happy and uh, it's my hope that you're going to give this a try and guys thank you so much uh, for watching this video i hope to see you in our next one comment down below tell us what you think and uh, we are very grateful for your for your endless support